Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and, well, we finished up pretty much everything we can do in Area 3. We sucked up Madame Clairvoyant after we showed her all of Mario's items. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and continue to the third floor because up there is the final boss fight of the area. We have one room to go through before then, but, you know, we're pretty much done with the area. Anyways, up here on the third floor, we want to head through this door, because that's the one that we have the key for. And I hope I have the right element. Otherwise, this will suck. First, we want to... We want to look over here, I believe. Oh, right here. Golden Mouse. There we go. Got a few coins. Now, no, it's a water one. I need to go get ice. I'll be right back. Oh, gold mouse. Gold mouse in the hallway. Holy crud. That's a sapphire. I'm getting that. Okay, I forgot to mention that you can find, I believe, at a 5% chance. Sometimes you can find golden mice in the hallway, and you should vacuum them up because they can give you a lot of great prizes. Okay, I'm back in here. So, sorry if the audio sounds a bit different, this is just me in the future filling in because my commentary here was not that great, and so I thought I'd go ahead and put my thoughts into more precise points. Anyways, one of the things for me is when it comes to visual novels, I enjoy visual novel games, but it's but I don't typically have the money to constantly be buying them, and so... You know, it's kind of hard to find a YouTuber that plays the game at, like, a solid pace and, you know, doesn't go too fast or too slow and doesn't, like, immediately solve the puzzles and stuff like that. And also doesn't take two hours to solve a puzzle. And so, I have some trouble with that. And you might just be saying, just watch a non-commentary Let's Play. And... Yeah, I agree with that, that that's probably the best way, but there's just something with about my brain that just doesn't go well with that. Just for some reason, when it's just all text, my brain just doesn't see it as too interesting if I'm not playing the game myself. I don't know if there's something about it, if just, like, pressing a button to move the text forward just does something that makes me start enjoying a game more, but... Eh, I don't know. Anyways, here's a key. So that's awesome. We're going to go ahead and use that over in that room. That room actually is where the area boss for this is. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, there's also a boo in here that we need to go ahead and get really quickly. Uh, it may take me a little bit to find it. Actually. No, that's a bomb. Sorry. Of course, this is still me in the future, so it's been a little while since I last saw this footage, and so sorry if I don't remember everything that happened. But yeah, this is where booze can get really annoying, because they can go out into the hallway, get barely any HP done to them in terms of damage, and then like go into another room that's locked and you can't get to. It can be super annoying, and we'll get to later stuff like that in future episodes. But anyways, back to present me. Now, you want to walk up to this door, and there's a certain amount of booze you need, so I hope you've been collecting all of the booze. When you walk up to this door, if you don't have enough booze, a boo will appear and basically blow you back to the start of the mansion, and you'll have to go through the mansion looking for booze so you can get enough. And I remember that scene really scaring me as a kid because I didn't collect all of the booze, and... I don't know, just a lot of things terrified me in this game that... I don't know, looking back at it now, it didn't terrify me too much. Uh, you know what, I should come back here in a little bit. Oh, I forgot to mention that if you stand right here, you can look out this window that's at the very top of the mansion. So that's really cool. While I'm going back here looking for water, do you guys remember the schoolyard game Grounders? 
For those who don't, it was basically this game where it was kind of like tag and hide and seek mixed into one. But basically, you'd go on one of those play sets that you'd find at a playground or at a school, and there would be one person who was it, and they would have to close their eyes and walk around on top of the playset looking for different people. And the people could run around either on the playset or on the ground, but what if someone was on the ground and the person who was it said grounders, then they were out or they were it or whatever. And so when we were young, my school banned that game pretty quickly. And I was like, ah, oh, come on, we're just having fun. Now that I'm looking back at that, I was like, what are you doing? You could seriously get hurt. I guess that's just a thing that happens when you grow up. You just realize how extremely not intelligent you were as a young child. Anyways, there are going to be... You have to go around watering some of the plants, and there are two things that we can get here. I didn't even know that that was up here. That is a red diamond, which I don't even remember... Actually, now that I think about it, is that even worth anything? Or is that just worth... I think that might not actually not be worth anything. I think that's just there to be a joke. Like, oh, this cool diamond, I wonder how much it could be worth, and then it's worth, like, nothing. Yeah, watered you. And we may be noticing that the Boo Radar is going off like crazy right now. It is absolutely freaking out. And I'll show why that is once I find the things that I'm looking for. There's the first thing, emerald. But yeah, I have tons of stories when I was a little kid of me just doing things that are not very smart. <laughs> like I remember as a kid being like, I'm smarter than a lot of than a lot of other kids, you know. I don't, you know, do things that other kids do that are stupid. But no, I was pretty, I was pretty, <laughs> you know, I'm one of those people who can't whistle, like no matter how much I try, I'll just keep trying and trying and, and just nothing will come out of it. So I guess that's one of the many things that I can't do. <laughs> okay, last two plants to water. There we go. Okay, finally. After a bunch of treks of going back and forth to get water, what do you have? Nothing, okay. After a bunch of treks of going back and forth to get water over and over again, I'm gonna cut all of that out, by the way, just the parts where I talk and then the parts where I get stuff. Anyways, now, you notice that the boo radar is going off like crazy. If we go over to the left, That scaredy cat Luigi has made it this far. Oh, we're so frightened. I guess it's our turn then. Alright, booze, let's assume our real form. But first, how about giving him a little scare? This is Boo Lossus. This is the last ghost that Egad captured before everything went down. Now you want to pop him on that statue right there. You want to suck up this ice thing. Hold on. You want to make sure you've got ice in your poltergust. And you want to use that to freeze the boos and then suck them up. Now, this boss fight can be a bit of a pain, especially as you continue to go later on. And the boosts start out smarting you, and it sucks. But yeah, you just want to keep doing this. In the PAL version of the New Game Plus mode called the Haunted Mansion, uh, if 
the way that this boss fight went down is completely different. I believe you had to ride around on a poltergust, and that's how you defeated him. It's really cool and kind of like a precursor to the poltergust 4000 from Mario Kart DS, and I haven't played it, but I think you can also ride on the poltergust 3001 from Mario in Luigi Superstar Saga. I need to play the Mario and Luigi games. I got like a little bit into Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I got to the place that's at like the waterfall and I didn't get much further. And I played a bit of Bowser's Inside Story and I got like decently into it, but I didn't get too much into it. I need to play through a lot of the uh, Mario RPG games. The only one that I think I've beaten is Paper Mario 2. But anyways, now Bulossus is getting extremely small, and he's going to bound towards you. And also, quick note, yes, all of the boos in Bulossus do count towards your boo counter, so it's not as daunting of a number as you may think, uh, but it can still be pretty annoying. I'm just going to... Okay, got him. Okay. Three boos left, I think. Got to hit you. Okay, got you. Okay, just one boo left. Now he's just gonna roam around like crazy. Oh, got him. There we go. That can be a, a very annoying boss fight. So thankfully I was able to beat it when I did. Once you beat Boolossus, our boo counter is up to 39. So that means just 11 boos left. We open this up and that's the end of area three. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, what a relief. That white mist interrupted your signal. Hmm, you seem to have done some serious work there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? We can have dinner while we gaze at these ghost paintings. Tonight I'll make an old family recipe. Pickled dandelions with barnacles and a diesel marinade. Whenever I hear of a food in a video game, I always wonder if someone has made it and tried it before, so... I'll try googling and seeing if someone has ever made that. I forget the name for it. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say we put them through the old ghost portificationizer? I'm very curious to see how I did this time around, because I feel like I didn't do that well, but maybe I'll surprise myself. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible form, and presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. I'm surprised I got a silver on Biff Atlas. You know what, I'm fine with that. I'm good with that too. Golden on Nana, I think. Golden on the twins. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thank you for your help, Luigi. So yeah, Madame Corvoya, we got a gold. Biff Atlas, we got a silver, which is better than I expected. We got gold for Nana. We got a silver for Miss Petunia. We got a silver for Slim Bankshot. We got a gold for Henry and Orville. And we've got a silver for Bulossus, so no bronzes, I think. That's pretty cool. Total of 16 ghosts. Yeah, the red diamond is not worth anything. I think it's worth a total of one coin, so that's pretty funny. 53 million, that's not bad. But yeah, that was area three, so we only have one area left in the game. So yeah, this... 
So yeah, this LP will definitely either end this week or next week. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.